Okay, now that we've got this uh, channel cleared out, it's time to block off the bottom of the channel and fill the stock with uh, plasticine. In this instance I'm going to be using um, foam down the bottom, which makes the plasticine go a lot further, and then plasticine across the top and plasticine and another piece of foam inside the trigger well. Okay, so I've got the plasticine dams in place. Um, they've really been forced right into position and smoothed out. Now we're going to have to do a trial fit, and especially around here, so we can see how um, this dam here is going to work. We need that contoured nicely to the shape of the barrel. Um, to prevent it from sticking to the action, I'm going to be painting the uh, plasticine with powdered graphite. Um, if you don't have powdered graphite, you can use talcum powder, and if you don't have talcum powder, you could use Lee uh, sizing lubricant. Um, although you might need to let that dry for a little bit. However, just before we do our final trial fitting, we're going to have to start taping up the action and getting that prepared, uh, and especially its points of relief. So we'll have a look at that uh, in a moment. We're nearly there. The action has been uh, masked up and the areas that I want relieved are relieved. So we'll just have a quick look at what those areas are. On this particular rifle I have gone ahead and um, ground and shaped the recoil lug for minimum binding. Now this makes both the bedding easier and makes it easier for the rifle to go in and out of the action without chipping the bedding. Uh, I've put uh, insulation tape across the front, sides and bottom. Through the middle here I've got uh, plasticine. The plasticine stops the bedding compound from leaking out of this area and through the top. Uh, all areas of the uh, trigger well here are taped up, including the pin areas and also where the uh, bolt handle recesses. These uh, ferrules which are on here are just uh, headless bolts, so I've just taken a bit of uh, thread stock and cut it to size and uh, fitted them with tape so that they are of the same diameter or similar diameter to the hole which they're going to be fitted into in the stock, which stops the compound from running out through there. This is very important to get the cant of the action correct in the stock to keep it uh, straight up and down rather than rolling around inside the stock when we go to bed it, which can happen if you do not use ferrules. Okay, so now it's time for a trial fit. I've put the powdered graphite on the plasticine and I've just put the action in with its ferrules. Okay, looking along this side of the rifle where the ejection port is, we need to make sure that the metalwork is lined up with the stock and that the gas port, the bottom of the gas port hole, is lined up with the stock as well. This tells us that the rifle is down where it needs to be um, and we can check to make sure that the action is sitting evenly and that the gaps down both sides of the action are nice and even. So now I'm going to take the uh, action out of the stock and here you can see that the um, plasticine has been squashed down and really needs to be shaped to a, to a nice clean edge so that the job looks presentable once it's finished. Okay so we've got this edge along here cleaned up and I've got some tape running down here for any compound that wants to come down over the front of the uh, bedding channel. Um, now make sure that if you have put any talcum powder or any form of graphite on that it hasn't uh, contaminated any of this uh, side wall through here or through the aluminium. Make sure that the plasticine does not interfere in any way with the bedding so that it comes away nicely. So now I'm putting on the release agent which is just Kiwi boot polish. And the reason why we use this is twofold. One, based on customer demand and two, because it's extremely good. It leaves a fine finish 
and the rifles that are done with this release agent uh, turn out to be very, very accurate. So I'm just using a piece of foam and dabbing it in. You might want to use a small um, artist's paintbrush or something like that, that's entirely up to you.